Welcome to Neon Static. I'm Eric Hyden, and I'm joined by Jeff. Hello, everyone. Great to be here. Uh, so we've got Sports Metal up against Smoke. This is recording from Mansion Runner. I, uh, Bill is playing Sports Metal on the left over here. We've got Kevin over on Smoke. This was a Parhelion legal uh, standard list 2303, so no boat, uh, but otherwise, and a couple of other cards. Uh, players taking their first turns. It doesn't look like either player took mulligans, or he might have started the recording after mulligans. I actually don't it was know. A, yeah, uh, it was after mulligans. Okay, cool. So Bill is playing a core damage based sports deck, um, and uses fake points and stock buyback to power up some economy in there as well. The smoke list, uh, which is linked in the description below, uh, is a little bit unusual. It's not running any Penrose. It's instead relying on Turbine and the Anarch Fixed Strength Breakers from Gateway. Uh, so its only stealth card, really, is After Image. Because um, I love making Eric do all the work here and just uh, calling up a million cards. After Image is that one. There we go. <laughs> cool. So... Bill's first turn was just install three cards, and Kevin's going to start say, trying keeping him honest. Steals a. Uh, Is that a hyperloop? No, that's a mega pre qualifier. Mega pre. Uh, Bill is taking two cards off of that. Um, then Kevin needs to decide what they're going to do. They're going to dirty laundry. I'm guessing R and D here. Looks like that is what it is. Yep. That's going to stay. Taking their credits. Um, yeah, I think as sports, Mega Pre is one of those agendas you're pretty happy to give up because it becomes two point. It becomes more points for you than for the runner. So uh, this is a click three access of Mister Hendrick. So this is a card that you're starting to see a lot more in uh, standard. Um, in this case. You know, uh, I think Bill is choosing to pay for it, though I actually can't see his credit pool. Um, and is choosing to give up his last click to avoid taking the core damage and then spending two credits to trash the Mr. Hendrick, which I think makes sense because if you don't trash the Mr. Hendrick, it will just get cards on it and it will protect it very nicely. Oh, I see Bill's credit pool is three credits there, and Bill got very lucky there. The Rashida was the unchecked card in the remote, yeah, uh, drawing three cards. Difference. A mandatory and then three more credits and it looks like we're going to use it's not going to be a one and a five it is going to be a one and a five good use of dice uh i'm not the personally the biggest fan of them but uh you I, just mean you know, tracking in, in in fives and not going to six not going to six yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. tracking yeah I've if, been you, playing... if you're going to spend them in... oh sorry go ahead no i was just uh, i've been playing more standard in uh the difference of of having the rashida or not on that first or second turn is like night and day you might as well yeah no it's uh there's definitely been some conversations about like oh what what card like makes the most difference for a corp win rate and i'm convinced it's just rashida like uh if you fire rashida in the first three turns it makes such a big difference on corp win rates yeah. uh so it looks like Bill's turn was install ice on R&D HQ and then play a hedge fund and then discard a card from the overdraw from Rashida. So it's almost like an old school ice ice hedge, but we're on turn two rather than turn one. Yeah. Oh, I think Kevin's looking to set up and figure out some way to start pressuring the uh, Bill. I actually don't remember if he's playing any copies of Clot in his list. Um, oh, Jesus. Yeah, so we're going to expose the magnet on HQ. That's this a fairly a, safe run. A no uh, clot list. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so that means the smoke has to play a little more aggressively. They they're kind of just a regular runner, uh, that because they're not going to have most of the shaper tricks. Uh, so they're yep yeah, they exposed the magnet and it looks like maybe they're actually making the run on R and D, and then Bill's choosing not to res. Um, that looked like another Rashida. trash. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was another Rashida. Good. Yep. And then what are we doing? We're getting three credits off the second mode of Deuces Wild. Deuces Wild is just a super versatile card. Uh, you see it in a lot of runner decks these days. Um, I think, like the the floor on the card is like a little bit lower than people think about, but knowing seeing ice placement is actually a, a huge deal with how impactful different ice could be. 
finishing out the turn with a Beth Kilrain Chang, which is going to very nicely help keep the tempo up for the runner here. So uh, Smoke playing into sports metal, what do you think the game plan should be for Kevin here? So for Kevin here, it's, you're going to, I mean, it's, it's a uh, difficult game plan for sure, because sports metal is going to have a lot of outs. The biggest thing you want to try and do is do everything you can to avoid turning the um, ontological dependencies on. So avoid taking two core damage and then just doing your best to take uh, singles where you can and build up to, and I believe Kevin's on Conduit, if I remember the list correctly. Um, if you can get to the Conduits, so and you're in, you can kind of actually outspeed the sports. Um, but you have to be fairly aggressive here um, to try and deny them their two-pointers. No, no Conduit in the list. Oh, okay. Uh, is that Twinnings, maybe? It's, no, I don't know what the multi-axis is, in fact. I'm not seeing any. Okay, no, no multi dives. Oh, okay. Uh, deep dive's not actually terrible for this, because um, you can, like, ideally you, you want to find some of those two pointers, and then you can kind of go in for a big deep dive to get the final two points, and you can sometimes even get that for the three, because there's a decent amount of agenda density. So playing smartly but on the Hendrix, trying to keep Sports Metal's money a little bit low, that's sort of how criminals typically play. Uh, Anarchs typically try and go with Stargate, and criminals do the total credit deny a little bit better. But I will, I think honestly, as Smoke, if you're not running Clot, you're going to be a little bit unfavored in this matchup because you just are lacking any tech. But we see an ontological dependency, uh, which is a big win for the Smoke list. Um, this is, you know, every two pointer you can find is a huge deal for. Yeah. Uh, your chance to win the game because you have no tricks here. You're just trying to get singles as quickly as you can before the corp can set up. And we, were, we were talking earlier while a, a biotic labor into Project Vitruvius got scored on uh, on Bill's side. Yeah. Uh, so we see Nightmare Archive. This is one of the core pieces of uh, core damage in the deck. I kind of like taking the first one as a core damage over taking it as a minus one point just personally uh, because a blank three two is while good maybe not the best but setting yourself back a point is quite big in a when you're trying to race the the corp um we a, and we see an Elvigar bifurcation score. I thought that was luminal transubstantiation. I was like, oh man, that would be wild. But yeah. <laughs> running HQ, first yeah. click. Yeah, I think when you know, like, because Bill's only on five credits and Kevin knows that there's an Ansel on R&D, can go for some pretty aggressive runs. And the nice thing is, like, Bill maybe doesn't know that this is a, a deep dive list, but Kevin is actually threatening deep dive now just mm -hmm. by running that first click roll on HQ and can do that repeatedly until Bill chooses. And uh, to, R &D. no res. Yeah. The Stealing Mega Pre. So we've gotten Megapri. back that that one point. Uh, Bill's going to take two credits. So now can the theory res the answer, though I don't think we're running back into R&D this turn. And we are going to run the archives. It is a face down Mr. Hendrick, which I don't think was installed, so it doesn't do anything. And then I suspect last click we're going to see the deep dive we and do. Bill already getting his cards out. <laughs> Six, seven, eight. Deep dive is a lot of fun to resolve in person. I always like seeing the corp flip them up one at a time. But yeah. uh, Oh, look at this. Uh, losing all the drama. There's one, two ontologicals. And a luminal. Oh I always take the luminal here because the ontologicals are still four twos. That is the upside of Kevin's play of not taking the core damage. Um, so I believe Kevin's actually at game point, and if he can get one more deep dive off, uh, that's enough to win the game. Right. Yeah. I mean, the luminal is such a tempo uh, positive card to, to score out anyway, even if the yeah. ontological was a three two. That said, as Bill here, I'm not, like, you're not dead by any means. Um, you're on three points to five, and the runner has no breakers out. Um, 
and you're on nine credits, so you've got plenty of options here. Um, your magnet is now super easy to res basically any time. For the biotic labor, probably just score out another Vitruvius. Um, probably make those two credits back. Um, and probably that you now kind of have to res the magnet if you can. Uh, but you're you I mean actually maybe you don't because there's only one there's probably only one of the deep dive in the list and you can just you know make them have it. Though we're seeing a couple agendas at hand, which it, maybe uh, suggests you do need to res the magnet. Illuminal as well. So he would be on four five. Oh no, the illuminal doesn't get him there. Uh, probably it's probably an Elvagarn hang as soon as Illuminal and the runner score. I'm area. sorry, that's but it does, it does yeah, it does look like it. Okay, runner's running R and D, and it is an ontological. And I, is that not game? I think it might be. I think they're they're doing the math. Yeah, counting. Yeah, that, that's, that's the math. Okay. I mean, you know, that's what you have to do as the runner. Just aggressively go for singles. That's your out with this kind of smoke list. You don't have any other tricks. So, you know, Kevin Kevin did his job, and the deep dive paid off. It was it was a Beth so. and deep dive, right? I mean, yeah. That was pretty much what 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 took him, and and some economy cards and some aggressive running. So, okay, so we'll yeah. be back um, in the next video for the other side of the matchup.